I'm Jordan with Weird History, and here's something weird you should know. Teddy Roosevelt gave a speech immediately after getting shot. In October of 1912, President Theodore Roosevelt was shot in the chest on his way to give a speech in Milwaukee. Instead of going to the hospital, though, Roosevelt went and gave his speech anyway. The attempted assassin was John Schrank. Schrank. Who was probably a paranoid schizophrenic. All the best assassins are. Schrank shot Roosevelt in the chest as the president was getting into his car. Roosevelt was actually saved by his heavy overcoat and two items in his breast pocket, his eyeglass case and his 50-page speech. Those items slowed the bullet and prevented it from hitting his heart. Roosevelt still had a bullet inside of his chest, but he insisted his driver take him to his speech and not the hospital. When he arrived, Roosevelt told the crowd he had just been shot, showed them the blood on his shirt, and said his speech would have to be shorter than he had originally planned. What a fucking badass. After the speech, the president finally went to the hospital to get the bullet removed. He dictated a telegram to his wife saying he was in excellent shape and the wound was trivial. Certified grade A American badass. Panama Canal. Yeah. I'm Jordan with Weird History and that's something weird you should know.